of these things work. <laughs> exactly. I had my fingers crossed. <laughs> here we are. Well, we did it. <laughs> we did it. It's a little nerve wracking, but here we are. Mm -hmm. We did it. And I just want to tell everyone this evening what Janine and I have in mind. And then we'll go ahead and get into our question for this evening, Janine. How does that sound? Sounds good. Okay, great. So Janine and I, Janine, by the way, is a certified divorce coach. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. But the two of us have decided that maybe a great thing to do would be to have short discussions for thinking maybe once a week, no longer than 15 minutes, just covering different topics around a divorce coach's role in the divorce process. And of course, neither Janine or I are advocates for divorce. We both are divorced. We're not advocates, but there are certainly times when it's unavoidable. And a lot of what Janine does is she really takes the, the pressure and the stress out of it for the individual. So Janine, to start with, would you please tell the audience a little bit about you and your background? Yes. Okay. So uh, my name is Janine Marie Powell. I'm a certified divorce coach. I am the founder of uh, Starting Over Single, which is SOS Divorce Coaching. I, um, on a personal note, I went through a really um, miserable, painful divorce about 11 years ago. And um, I had a wonderful legal team. I had great support from my family and friends. I had a wonderful therapist, but it was still so hard. It was such a difficult, painful time. And I remember thinking there has to be an easier way to do this. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like I would talk to people, talk to my friends, my married friends, and nobody got it. Nobody could really understand the depth of emotions that I was experiencing. Um, so that's kind of what led me into divorce coaching, to really be the person who gets it and, and to be by someone's side when they're going through this really difficult, difficult life transition. That's very true. In, unless mm -hmm. you've been through it or you're going through it, it's very difficult to understand the depth of emotion. Exactly. And the worries and the sleepless nights and really how unsafe you feel. Through exactly. That it, you feel so vulnerable. Oh. Right? vulnerable and it can last, threatened. divorce can last years. Yep. And, and there's so much uncertainty, right? Uncertainty, like every life as you know it is changing. You're not every just second losing um, your spouse. You're losing so much more. So it, it's actually a grieving process at times. It is. It is. It is a mourning, mm -hmm. and certainly, um, I mean, not not everyone that gets married and gets divorced once or has children. But if you do, then there's that depth of emotion for the children, and that is very stressful. And we, we see them suffering and it's, it's a terrible experience for a parent. It is. Terrible it experience is. for a child because ultimately the child is the one mm -hmm. who's, we're, we're really worried about and suffering. Exactly. But the question that I have for you this evening, so we stick in our time frame, and if it's yeah. less than 15 minutes, that's okay <laughs> because I know people always want to get information quickly. Mm -hmm. And the question I have this evening is, why would someone hire a divorce coach? Okay. So a divorce coach basically can help you through, you know, every stage of the divorce process, whether you're just thinking about getting a divorce, you know, already in the midst of the process or, you know, searching for happiness post-divorce. And the people that you surround yourself, you know, typically you go to a lawyer, which I, which I highly recommend. I mean, anybody go thinking about getting a divorce, one of the first things I tell them to do is to speak to a lawyer because a lot, um, you know, many times their, their thoughts are just running rampant and they have all these fears and, and, you know, people think, oh my God, I'm going to be homeless. I'm not going to be able to afford this. Or I'm not. So sometimes that initial consultation with a lawyer might calm down some of their initial fears. Um, but again, it's going through divorce is an emotional roller coaster. And when you're working with a divorce coach, um, you know, a coach can sort of help you put your emotions in check. I mean, we don't want to ignore our emotions because that's a big part of the grieving process, but just manage your emotions so that you can think with a clear head. So as a divorce coach, um, I don't give any legal advice, and that's a misconception. A lot of people think divorce coaches will give legal advice. I do not give legal advice, but what I can do is prepare you for the legal process, mm -hmm. prepare you for a meeting with the, your lawyer. So I'm kind of um, someone to brainstorm with, a thinking partner, so that we can calm the emotions and try to think rationally 
and get organized and really find out what your main priorities are and what your main goals are, you know, as you go through your divorce. So, okay. Oh yeah, and when I was on your website. Of course, I've been looking at your website, which is excellent. Mm -hmm. And I do want to say the name of your website again, and I will be putting it in the uh, profile for You Matter, but Thank it's you. SOSDivorceCoaching.com. Yes. And Janine has amazing resources on there. And one of the things that you said was, get your paperwork together. Yes. yes. Thanks for all the hearts. I appreciate it. <laughs> We're getting lots of hearts. And it's really important to do that. I remember yes. when I was divorced a billion years ago, it, it was overwhelming. And you made a point well, exactly. the other day when we were chit-chatting about this interview. You said sometimes if there's a spouse, sometimes one spouse doesn't handles everything and the other spouse really doesn't know the accounts and things. So that's another right. piece of it, correct? That you yes. help them through? Yes. The more prepared you are for your initial legal consultation, the smoother it's going to go. Right, because like you said, it's overwhelming. There's a lot of things to get in order. So the more prepared you can be going into it, um, you know, sometimes people go to a lawyer, and and for some reason, lawyers are intimidating, and a lot of people are afraid to reach out to a lawyer. And also symbolically, you know, when you reach a lawyer, then then that's it, right? When you're reaching out to a lawyer, then that really signifies the end of your marriage, and I think that's terrifying. So if they come to a divorce coach first, it's sort of like easing them into the legal process, right? Because it's not as intimidating as meeting with a lawyer. Um, and then, like I said, I help them get a little bit more focused so that when they do meet with their lawyer, it's a, it's a productive session. And do you also, can you recommend, because a lot of people aren't really sure, I, I don't know who to trust, I don't know, are they going to understand mm -hmm. my situation? So can you recommend to your clients, can you recommend a lawyer to them? Yes, I can. And, and that's also one of the jobs of a divorce co coach is to be sort of somebody's one stop um, resource, mm -hmm. right? Because again, it's overwhelming. And usually, I mean, who are the professionals you need when you get a divorce, right? You're, you're going to need a lawyer or a mediator, you might want a therapist, you, you probably need a realtor, because you'll be buying or selling a house, um, a mortgage broker. Um, so all these, you know, I spend a lot of time networking with these professionals. So if somebody comes to me, and they don't have a clear head to do the research on their own, I've done the research for them. So I can, you know, recommend numerous professionals with a, you know, clear head knowing that I'm, I'm steering people in the right direction. So when I was divorced, it was many years ago, um, I think the rate for an attorney, the going rate at the time, was around $250 an hour. Mm. And today, I, I believe we were talking about this and we were also talking with, um, with Melissa. Yeah. I just interviewed Melissa Cohen. I think the rate now is around $600 an hour. Yeah, it's cost. Is that right? In that proximity, you can't... I would say between four and six, yeah. Before, between four and six. It's a lot of money. Yes. So I, I do remember my first consultation with my attorney. He said, make sure you have somebody's shoulder to cry on because I yeah. cost $250 an hour. So don't call me when you have, you know, right. when things go wrong. Right. And I, I think that a, another reason somebody could seek out a divorce coach like you is also mm -hmm. financial because you are uh, of course, less money. We don't right, need to get what right. things cost here. People can mm -hmm. have a consultation with you to find out. But obviously, you know, a, a divorce coach will be less money. So and end with the services you provide of helping them get their house in order, literally financial yes. house and all the other houses, emotional house. Yes, that would save a tremendous amount of money in the long run, I would imagine. Exactly. Exactly. I can't help but always look at things from a financial perspective. No, that's because... true. It's true. It can save a lot, lots of money and time and costly mistakes. So mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yeah, I, I think that's something that, because when you get that bill from your attorney, gulp. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I also... I just turned it off. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say you were just frozen on my end. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, it's funny with, with the Instagram live, I don't know how to turn my phone off and have an Instagram live. So if somebody <laughs> out there knows how, <laughs> please yeah. let me know, because I have worried about that. Yeah. Um, and you know what, even when I network with attorneys, I mean, they have a big job to do. Yeah. You know, they have a big job to do. So, so when they can, and um, so many attorneys really are caring and compassionate, and sometimes they do get, you know, a bad rap. Um, but like I said, their focus is on the legal matters. 
So, you know, when they have clients and, and you know, that have these emotional needs and, and that's where I can come in and, mm -hmm. you know, it sort of has a negative connotation to say handholding, yeah. but that's a lot of what I do. And, and let's face it, when you're going through a divorce, you kind of need someone to hold your hand, to be there Absolutely. with you. You know, absolutely, it's, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And friends are wonderful. You need friends through the process, but to have a professional like you, yeah, it makes a difference because a friends mean well, but right. at times they, they give terrible advice. They're, they, they're, they're, right. I, unless they're, unless they're a, a divorce coach or an attorney, you really, yeah. you, and I'm sure, I'm sure people that are in your situation, you have to have boundaries with your friends because they exactly. just yeah. <laughs> you know, forget it. But I, I think that, yes, that that's really important to, for people to understand. I do remember mm -hmm. many years ago, uh, a friend of mine said to me, and she didn't mean to, oh, well, you know, be careful. You don't want Dyfus to come in. Right. So that terrified me. And that kept me in my situation with, mm -hmm. with my abusive partner. So, you know, and we, of course, you know, You Matter, certainly, as you know, is about domestic violence. Right. So that's another layer. So, I mean, usually I know... Uh, Melissa was saying the other day, very common is financial, financial yeah. abuse, financial violence. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have a penny and it's from both sides. Right, right. <laughs> and, and it's just somebody in the relationship has more control than the other. Right, right. And, and I would and imagine. Person, again, go, no, go ahead. No, I was just going to say the person who's not in control is, is really feeling vulnerable. Mm. Certainly, right. especially if you're a spouse, we know men stay home with the children too, and women go to work mm -hmm. and vice versa. When you're the one that's not working, then you have that added doubt of, oh, do I have any skills? Are they rusty? Am I outdated? Do I, the technology has right. changed. That's something that's also intimidating. So for, for you, you also can connect people, I'm sure with uh, uh, career coaches yeah. as well. Yeah. And so you just, you have this plethora of resources. Yes. yes. And that's why somebody would hire a divorce coach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, we are coming up on our 15 minutes. Should we be good and stick to the time frame? Yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> we'll get together next week and cover some more stuff. Absolutely. In the meantime, this will go onto Instagram so people will be able to watch it. And I'll, I'm going to put Janine's information, contact information right away in the profile. And please reach out to her. And for those that have joined us live, I appreciate you being here and taking the time. Janine, I appreciate your time too. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And everyone who's watching this, if you're going through a divorce, hang in there. It, it does get better and it does get easier and there is help for you. Yes, it does get easier and you do mm -hmm. get, you, you get over it. You move on. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> thank you so much, Janine. Right, I'll talk to you soon. You. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. now.